The HP Dragonfly G4 is aimed at business travellers or hybrid workers who want a lightweight premium laptop with a decent battery life. With the G4, HP have dropped the elite from the name and upgraded the processors to Intel 13th gens, along with support for dual webcams and minor software tweaks. Does it offer enough to justify its corporate price tag? Let's find out. The G4 design hasn't changed from its predecessor. It has a matte finish in a slate blue colour. The finish has an anti-smudge coating. The chassis looks premium and understated in that corporate looking dark blue. The edges and corners are rounded to give a soft tactile feel to the chassis. There's no flexing on the keyboard deck, but applying pressure on the display lid does warp the surface. Starting at 0.99 kilograms or 2.2 pounds, it definitely feels light but durable at the same time thanks to the 90% recycled magnesium aluminium alloy and military standard 810H tested. To open the bottom cover, loosen the four captive T3 Torx head screws and pry open with a plastic tool. Memory is soldered on, therefore not upgradable. The PCIe Gen 4 NVMe SSD is removable along with the 68 watt hour battery. The WLAN is soldered on but the optional WAN card is removable. This review model has a 13.5 inch 3K 2K or 3000 by 2000 resolution OLED display panel. It's protected with Corning Gorilla Glass 7. The 3x2 ratio 13.5 inch diagonal display is superb. Feast your eyes on vivid colours, sharp text, deep contrast thanks to the OLED panel and colour accuracy is rated at 100% DCI-P3. Viewing angles are excellent too. Brightness is rated at 400 nits, plenty for most working environments and shaded areas when it's used outdoors. Naturally, with a glass layer, the display can be highly reflective if the G4 is near a sunny window or bright office lighting. The single hinge feels sturdy and can manoeuvre all the way back 180 degrees flat to get the optimum viewing angle. On the left we have a HDMI 2.1 port, one nano SIM slot and one Thunderbolt 4 with USB Type-C 40 gigs per second signaling rate USB power delivery display port 1.4. On the right we have a headphone microphone combo jack, one USB Type-A 5 gigabits per second USB power delivery, a Thunderbolt 4 with USB Type-C 40 gigabits per second USB power delivery display port 1.4 and a nano security lock. Wi-Fi is taken care of with the Intel Wi-Fi 6E AX211 2x2 and Bluetooth 5.3 wireless card supporting gigabit data rate. Wireless coverage was excellent across two rooms during testing. Bluetooth was also reliable with the external mouse or speaker. The G4 has an optional WAN card. HP uses the Intel 5000 5G solution WAN card or the Intel XMM 7560R Plus LTE Advanced Pro WAN CAT16 card for mobile connectivity. The HP Premium keyboard is spill resistant and has two level backlighting. For the touch typists out there, the keyboard is a joy to use for long hours. Well spaced out, tactile feedback from the 1.3mm key travel. Considering it's an ultra thin laptop, the HP engineers deserve a pat on the back. F12 is a customizable key for opening a website, application, file or folder using the My HP app. The same can be said for the large touchpad. It has a smooth surface for precise positioning of the pointer. It supports multi-finger gestures and works well. The integrated mouse buttons have tactile feedback and noise-wise it's not too loud. Audio in the G4 comes in the form of quad stereo speakers tuned by Bang & Olufsen. Combined with discrete amplifiers, the speakers produce loud and crisp audio. For ultra-thin laptop, it has surprisingly good sound quality. Whether you're watching a YouTube video, listening to a Spotify playlist, or listening to your work colleagues on Zoom. Here are some audio samples. The webcam is a 5 megapixel 88 degree field view camera. Color rendering is very good with clear, sharp, vivid colors from decent lighting conditions. A great webcam for video conferencing with your work colleagues. HP have some software tricks up its sleeve to enhance the video quality. Under the My HP app, opening the video control app reveals enhancement options. There's also a dual webcam feature. Plug in an external webcam and the software detects which camera you're looking at and switches the default to that one. Great for live streaming or webinars. 
Inside this review model is an Intel Core i7-1355U based on the Alder Lake architecture, offering two performance cores ranging from 1.7GHz to 5GHz, and eight efficient cores ranging from 1.2GHz to 3.7GHz. The CPU is rated at a TDP of 15 watts base power, up to a turbo power of 55 watts, along with 16GB of LPDDR5-6400 megahertz onboard RAM and one terabyte of PCIe Gen 4 NVMe TLC SSD storage. The G4 will happily work through multiple open browser tabs, playing a Spotify playlist in the background and office apps like Word or PowerPoint without breaking into a sweat. The G4 is built for productivity work rather than creative tasks. For our performance test, we set it to best performance mode in Windows and plug the laptop into the mainstream testing. Here are the benchmarking results for the HP Dragonfly G4. 3D Mark Time Spy results came in with an overall score 1737, CPU score 5620, and a graphics score of 1549. 3D Mark Time Spy Extreme had an overall score of 823, graphics score of 735, and CPU score of 2586. PC Mark 10 had an overall score of 5559. Geekbench 6.2.2 gave a CPU score of 2,510 in single core and 9,252 in multi core and 15,073 in the GPU compute benchmark. Cinebench 2024 testing produced a score in multi core of 116 and 27 in single core. Superposition resulted in a score of 2,998. Blender version 4 resulted in a score of 74.92. Using the quick CPU tool, plugged in best performance mode idle, CPU temperature is around 60 Celsius, CPU efficient clock speed is around 1 GHz and 5 watts CPU power. With video playback balance mode, the i7-1355U CPU temperature is at 62 Celsius on average, 1 to 1.5 GHz and 9 to 11 watts. The dual fans stay quiet and the temperature at the vents is 37 Celsius. Set to high performance plugged in running Blender benchmarking, the CPU performance core runs at 3 GHz. The efficient cores run at 2.2 GHz. CPU temperature is around 73 Celsius and CPU power is at a constant 21 watts with a quick turbo boost of 50 watts. The fans do kick in faster at 46 decibels. Temperatures around the vents are 42 Celsius. In battery and balance mode, typing in Google Docs, the CPU power is 3 to 4 watts on average, clock speed is 1 to 1.5 GHz on both types of cores, and CPU temperature of 50 Celsius. The fans stay virtually silent at 32 decibels, and chassis temperatures hit 33.5 Celsius at most. The fan hardly ever kicks in, but not surprisingly, the type of power user will be working on office documents, researching, or coding work. The integrated Intel Iris graphics is based on the XE architecture and offers all 96 EUs operating at up to 1.3 GHz. Performance is comparable to a MX350 depending on the TDP settings. It's far behind the AMD Radeon 760M GPU in general benchmarking results. The Dragonfly G4 is not really designed to play AAA games. The Intel Iris XE will struggle with heavy titles, but will play older or less demanding games like GTA 5, Fortnite or Counter-Strike 2. Here are some gaming samples. The Dragonfly G4 is aimed at hybrid workers who travel such as project managers, software developers, finance directors, marketing gurus and nomadic digital freelancers. 
HP have provided a wealth of security features on the Dragonfly, fingerprint reader on a key between the right alt and home keys, electronic webcam privacy button located next to the power button, Nano Kensington security lock, IR sensors for Windows Hello authentication, and TPM 2.0 embedded security encryption chip. On the software side, we have HP Wolf Security that provides endpoint protection. It uses hardware-enforced isolation technology to stop phishing and randomware attacks, as well as AI-based antivirus to detect emerging and known threats. Inside the G4 is a HP Long Life 6L 68 watt hour lithium polymer battery on 30% brightness, best power efficiency mode, running web apps and tabs like Google Docs and Sheets. The battery life lasted just over 10 hours. On best performance mode, full brightness, expect 3 to 4 hours battery life. Tip If you want to eke out more battery life, go for the 1080p display panel instead of the power hungry OLED panel. There's a 65 watt USB Type C adapter supporting HP fast charge, which can recharge your battery up to 50% within 30 minutes when the system is off or in standby mode. The good, the bad, and the really bad. Dazzling display. The OLED display is a joy to work with. Sharp text, vivid, color accurate colors on a productivity based 3x2 aspect ratio screen. Stunning speakers. The four Banger Olufsen tuned speakers. Two top firing and the other two are bottom firing. Have a loud and crisp sound, even at high volumes. For Ultrabook, they're pretty good. Just need more bass in the next model. Good ports. There's a good selection of ports in the G4. Two Thunderbolt 4s, a useful USB Type-A port, headphone jack and HDMI. Excellent inputs. You know a laptop keyboard is good when you realise you have typed several pages without cursing the laptop. Great tactile typing action and a large touchpad with a smooth surface to glide your fingers over it. Plus the added bonus of the 3x2 ratio display. Good battery life. For OLED panel, the Intel 13th Gen U processor is frugal with the power consumption, lasting 9-10 to 10 hours in a workday without thinking of getting the charger out. Built quality. When we received our test laptop, it had a dent on the bottom vent and the display bezel adhesive had come off. The dent, one can argue, was user error, but the adhesive less so. USB Type-A. Talking of flimsy, not a big fan of cut-out ports with a flap. Easy for users to eventually snap it off. No AMD option. I wish HP offered an AMD version of the Dragonfly G4, as the AMD Ryzen 7 7840U has proven to be a great CPU with the added bonus of the potent Radeon 780M iGPU, all in the name of the Intel Evo badge. Enterprise expensive. The Dragonfly starts at £1,400 before taxes or $1,777 for this review spec all the way up to £1,800 or $2,284 for the i7-1365U model with 32GB of RAM and a touchscreen. Definitely an ultrabook for the enterprise expense account. If you were in the market for a high-end, ultra-thin laptop, what other laptops would you be looking at? In no particular order, here's some to consider. Lenovo ThinkPad X13 Gen 4 Dell XPS 14 Asus ZenBook S13 Apple MacBook Air M2 13 inch, Asus ExpertBook B3 B3 404, Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Carbon Gen 12 14 inch Intel, LG Gram 14 inch, Microsoft Surface Laptop 5, Samsung Galaxy Book 4 Pro, Huawei MateBook X Pro, Acer SwiftGo 14. The HP Dragonfly G4 is a tale of two halves. On one hand, it's a beautifully put together ultra lightweight laptop designed for a business power user or a nomadic digital traveler. Excellent battery life, gorgeous OLED display, a wonderful keyboard and touchpad to use for long periods. On the other half, the Intel i7-1355U and Intel Iris Xe iGPU will struggle with anything more than business or web-based apps. If you want to work on content creation tasks or heavier number crunching work for example, you might want to look elsewhere. There's also the high price tag. It's competing with the similarly priced Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Carbon. Both devices need deep enterprise pockets to justify the cost versus cheaper options. If you don't have the deep pockets, look at cheaper alternatives like the Lenovo Yoga Slim 7. With powerful AMD processors and superior iGPU performance, if you're willing to sacrifice some battery life, or pick up an Apple MacBook Air M2 in a sale. Also, dare I say it, consider a premium Chromebook Plus laptop. In the end, if you're given one as a company laptop, it's a wonderful Ultrabook as a companion. If you're buying one with your own money, there are better choices out there. 
What do you guys think? Leave your comments and discuss below. Hope you guys enjoyed the review of the HP Dragonfly G4 laptop. Please click on the like button if you enjoyed this review video and subscribe if you would like to watch more of our tech videos. Thanks for watching. Cheers.